Priority mail. Surprisingly light. Hmm. All right, let's check this thing out. Not even gonna properly set up the camera. Well, maybe I should set up the camera a little bit. Really slapping this one together, but it's all right. Just wanna kinda of quick do a little unboxing type thing to show you what I got. So I'm going to open it. You notice it says, do not use plates to open. All right, I will obey their commands, their wishes. Oh yeah, what do we got there, people? Take sunglasses off. <sighs> Thank you for supporting hammock gear. This here is a new hammock underquilt down that I got from hammock gear. That's the name of the company. It's actually a guy named Adam. And uh, the letter I got also says, Thank you from Happy Trails from Adam and Jenny. As a matter of fact, let's just check this note, uh, product detail thing that was in here real quick, shall we? Um, some tips and hints. I won't read this all to you, I promise. We'll make it a quick video. Um, Underquilts can perform in temperatures well above their rating. There's um, suspension cords. Yep, we'll take a look at that. You can adjust the lengths. Don't over tighten. Uh, new design has been modified to better fit the contours of your body. All right. There is a wide end where your shoulders should be in a narrow end, so I'll have to pay attention to that. And if you have a... Uh, uh, please be aware leg and foot end are not arched. Tabs with D-rings are standard on all underquilts. We'll check that out. When you remove a quilt from the box, it may seem compressed, airing it out for a minimum of 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so we'll keep that in mind. This will loft up more than we're probably going to see in this video. Uh, maybe 20 minutes from now, it'll get its full loft. Uh, excellent. Taking care. We'll get into all that. I'm sure I'll talk about that when I do a full review on it. Uh, storage. Dry place when storing. Awesome. All right. Very nice little note right there. Local company. Boutique vendor, if you will. Makes these things by hand. You order these and they will make it to order. So it's not like uh, Amazon where you're just going to order it and it ships out the same day. As a matter of fact, should probably point that out. When did I order this? For 2014, I ordered this, and today it is um, 5 12 14, and that was expected. Uh, safely, you'd say don't order this if you need it right in the month that you're going. Uh, mine took about a few weeks because it was made with love and care. I actually talked to Adam on the phone at one point just to verify my order, and he was. Uh, very friendly and courteous professional. So I had a good experience with that. Um, so but anyway, let's get this thing open, all right? Because as you uh, may know, if you've seen the videos, I've been using pads in my quilt, um, pardon me, in my hammock, which is not ideal uh, to use pads in a hammock. So I finally bit the bullet, spent a couple dollars, more than a couple, a couple hundred dollars, of hard earned money and got myself this quilt. So let's check it out. First things first, you may notice that it is camouflage in black. I did get it in multicam. Can you see that there? Oh man, look at this. There's the pattern before I sp spread it out. But I did upgrade, pay, I forget if I paid 20 extra bucks or something like that to get it in the multicam, which I just thought was cool. My hammock is a uh, green color. This will go underneath. So between the two, I should be uh, somewhat discreet. So you'll be seeing this in the videos to come, I'm sure. Uh, this is the Incubator 40 model. So 40 degrees is what they recommend this at. Outer shell is the Multicam. Standard length, 78 inches. Uh, standard fill amount. So this I'll be using in... Uh, Warmer weather, but you know for cooler nights uh, It should do me well from what I've read. It's got great reviews and I can't wait to use it myself So that's really it. I just wanted to show you from the get-go. It's got a suspension system right with it I got to play around with that, but it did come with some s-beaners 
um, right there for hooking up to your hammock. In my case, I have a Hennessy Expedition ASIM, so I'll be hooking this up to that. And same thing at the other end, of course. The black will go up against the bottom of my hammock, and this will keep me toasty, or hopefully not too toasty, because I did purposely get a 40 degree model, and um, we'll see how that goes. Now, like I said, I've been waiting about two years to get, this is actually kind of weird by the way, I'm looking up at the camera, kind of odd perspective, but uh, yeah, I've been waiting about two years to get an actual underquilt. Uh, I've been using a pad that I originally got for tent camping, a Z light, and then I've also used uh, climate inertia X frame and then in the winter I've actually used them both together and that got me through but Finally did this it did cost me if you're gonna get a legit nice down quilt um, Cost me around two hundred and fifty dollars or so depending on the options you go with um, Those of you who follow the channel know that uh, I don't take spending money lightly but when it's time to buy high quality and there's a purpose and a good investment a good reason for it I will do it. So, uh, after two years of playing around, I finally knew what I needed and wanted. I'm glad I waited because I probably would have bought the wrong thing and spent a bunch of money before, but this is what I went with. Oh, let's pack it up real quick and, um, and weigh it, which I should have done before I unpacked it, but eh, whatever. Comes with the little stuff sack here. Actually, let's weigh the stuff sack real quick first. There we go. Got scale there, although this is carpet, so that's not a good idea. Hold on. Feels like a really nice material. A quarter ounce. Uh, you know what? We need a smaller scale. For accuracy's sake, uh, it's 10.8 grams, or to put it in ounces for you, it's 0.38 ounces. Super light on that. All right, the whole thing together now. Let's see how it stuffs down. You see the stitching and everything looks great. I'm looking over it, and the attention to detail is really awesome. From what I can see, just at real first glance here, of course, you know, we'll see this in use in the next video, which is coming up soon. And I gotta tell you, it's very comfortable, soft feeling material. I won't actually be in contact this, with this, it'll be underneath of me, but I imagine that their top quilts that they make out of this are really nice too. Stuff down, nice little clip on there, just like you would expect, of course. And let's weigh it. Looking at one pound, four ounces. So uh, 20 ounces right there for 40 degrees of protection and in grams for you 565 grams so that's what that is and remember this replaces any pad that you might be carrying with you so yes when I was carrying um, an inflatable climate pad you know this guy right here um, this was only like eight or nine ounces and it rocks and I slept fine because the hammock is pretty darn comfortable at least mine is um, almost no matter what but for doubling the weight I made the decision I just want to have an under quilt I want to jump in there I want to not worry about laying straight I just want to relax and uh, I've said it a million times by now or maybe a thousand it's all about overall comfort for me, at least. It's about overall comfort. So a little extra weight on the trail, nothing crazy, but a little extra weight on the trail sometimes makes for a better camp experience, a better rest. And when you wake up rested, you move faster. So, you know, there's all different ways to look at things like that. Although compared to my cold weather two pad system, it actually weighs a few ounces less. Look for this to come. We'll be uh, putting this through its paces. I'm really looking forward to using it and taking a closer look at it. But for now, this is the Hammock Gear Incubator 40 Under Quilt. Down loveliness. Till next time, I'm Syntax77. Have fun out there. I have to actually admit, I was looking for a book to put this on and um, I gotta come clean. I actually purposely chose this book because I thought it would make me look smart. And I was gonna go with it, but uh, yeah, I gotta admit. I, I haven't actually read this book. You know, it's just one of those books you keep on the bookshelf. You know, your friends come over and they think you're smart. Shh.